with 76 international schools and tons of language schools. Hong Kong is one of the most popular destinations for international teachers. For foodies, right. outdoor enthusiasts, art lovers, gamers, fashion aficionados, sports heads, cafe goers, beer drinkers, and so, so many more, people love Hong Kong. In this video, I'll share what it's like to really live and work as an international teacher in this metropolis of Hong Kong. From Monday through Friday, I roll into my school at 7.30 a.m. and I'm out by 3.30 p.m. except for Mondays when we have a weekly after school meeting and then I'm out the door by 4.30 p.m. I work as a third grade teacher in the American International School System, which means I teach using a curriculum from the United States. My colleagues are from all over the world and many of them have taught in a number of countries before arriving to Hong Kong. International schools in Hong Kong have a high level of reputation and expect teachers to dress professionally for instruction. Like other teachers in Western countries, international teachers get paid summers off as well as local and US holiday breaks too. What's really sweet is that in Hong Kong, international teachers who complete their two-year contract receive an additional two months bonus pay. Now, when you factor in summers, this means that I work 20 months during a period of two years, but I'm paid for 26 months. That's pretty awesome. If you've ever taught abroad before, you know that international school teachers become friends with other international school teachers almost instantaneously. Meeting people and making friends is not an issue, especially in a city like Hong Kong with so many like-minded expats. I live in the center of Kowloon in a district called Mung Kong. And if you haven't already, check out the video that I made about living here. Mung Kong is known for its good shopping, better food, lots of lights, and late nights. I pick up packaged food at a grocery store just around the corner from my apartment and I get fresh fruit right outside my front door. The cost of living is similar to many other large cities in the United States. Rent will definitely be your largest expense and you probably won't get that much space for what you're paying, especially if you're on Hong Kong Island. It's common to sign a two-year contract to get an apartment here in Hong Kong and sometimes the apartment will come totally unfurnished, which was the case for me. It's been three and a half months since I moved in and I'm still living pretty bare bones. The reason is that I'm absolutely obsessed with building digital assets on my free time, like websites and design stuff. In case you haven't checked it out yet, watch the video where I describe how I built a site in 48 hours that made $750 in its first month and is now making double that every month totally passively. Anywho, I haven't found the time to get a fridge or stovetop or any other appliances, and this means I eat out for dinner a lot. And because I eat out so much, I try and save money by eating at local restaurants, and this usually costs me between 50 and 70 Hong Kong dollars for a light meal. The overall quality of life in Hong Kong is relatively high, and I feel totally safe everywhere I go. Whether you choose the MRT, bus, ding ding, ferry, taxi, or minibus, getting around town is convenient, clean, easy, and affordable. Hong Kong's turning out to be a really cool place to be. And if you're interested in learning how else I've rated living and working here, click the link in the description below. And if you're an international teacher right now, fill it out for the city that you're living in. And if you have any other recommendations or topics you'd like to me to cover in an upcoming video, just leave those comments down below. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.